My name is Tosin Fanyuro Dada. Tido Pitisaid. Mire Alonga. Tayo Biosu. Bola G. Balogo. Oduan Yawini. Feolua Uyoke. Tato Pipe. Elo Ho Mame. My name is Andrew Ali. Linda Rotenberg. Yemi Lalude. My name is Peter. The president and founder of ANAP Foundation. I guess my second title is founder of Stambik IBTC Bank. I am the Global Proof Leader Field Intelligence and Co-Founder at Shelf Life. Partner and Head of Africa at TPG, a global private equity firm. CEO and Co-Founder of um, AutoJack Africa. I'm the uh, Chief Executive Officer of uh, ZigZag um, Advisory Limited. I'm a partner at TLCom Capital and a co-founder of First Check Africa. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer of Flutterway. I'm co-founder and CEO of Piggy Best. I run Chapel Hill Denim in Lagos, Nigeria. Founder and group CEO of Flutterway. I'm the manager of the Entrepreneurship Induction and Growth Team at Endeavor Nigeria. And I'm the managing director at Endeavor Nigeria. The co-founder and CEO of Endeavor. I really can't believe it's already been is almost no place I'd rather be, except with my girls, <laughs> than with you virtually to celebrate and toast the fifth anniversary of Endeavor Nigeria. I've been involved right from inception of Endeavor Nigeria. Since December 2018. October 2019. Since uh, 2017. I've been in the Endeavor Network now for a couple of months. Um, I've been a part of the Endeavor Network since 2019. Um, from the very start of Endeavor in Nigeria. We're the newest Endeavor Nigeria members, so only a couple months. They were trying to build something and they, and they decided to approach people like me, who they felt were like-minded. A phone call um, from Faisal El Khalil. They were thinking about, you know, uh, putting together an Endeavor network in Nigeria. The moment that he familiarized me with Endeavor, um, I very readily um, was excited about it and decided to get involved. The Endeavor Network is probably the largest network of entrepreneurs and mentors and partners globally. And so when we got the opportunity to join, it was kind of a no-brainer that we would join. It's like if you could talk to anybody who has done almost anything you want to do, if you could get access to anybody who has done almost anything you want to do, why wouldn't you, be, why wouldn't you join the network? The endless possibilities uh, of Endeavor, I think that was what uh, inspired me to, to want to be part of the network. Our selection process was, was to join the network was very grueling. I mean, it would it took about one year, one month. Yeah, it was a very rigorous process. Lots of lots of meetings, lots of conversations. I also tell people that you have to be committed to go through that process. There's a lot of quite knowledgeable people who really do this stuff, um, and you couldn't kind of like bullshit. I didn't think you could bullshit your way through it. My most memorable experience would have to be the startup of the of the operations in Nigeria. Um, again, this was uh, a vision, a dream, uh, if you will, that we that we had. Uh, but it was really incredible to see it come together. I've got many uh, memorable experiences with Endeavor. The international selection panel was my most memorable experience. My first international selection panel which was in Manila in the Philippines. Attending my first ISP, you know, was exciting. It was actually the Outliers Retreat, I think in 2019. And it was memorable because of the, the number of people who I really had a deep connection with. It was really nice to see a gathering of entrepreneurs being vulnerable with each other. Endeavor has evolved in the last five years, especially in Nigeria. I think, of course, we started off as a little unknown outfit. Since I stepped down as managing director of Endeavor Nigeria, it has been um, a bittersweet experience to watch the growth um, and the explosion of, of Endeavor's network. And it's actually quite amazing to see what's gone on in, in, in only five years. Um, I think it's 32 Endeavor entrepreneurs. The network has grown. We've grown the number of mentors to about 33 mentors today. We've grown the number of entrepreneurs to about 33 entrepreneurs as well. And the number of companies um, in our portfolio 
to 16 companies. It's now moving into, you know, not, not just impacting the entrepreneurs, but now, you know, sort of endeavor impact, impacting the immediate society. It's very, very exciting because if I project out the next five years, I am positive that Nigeria is going to play a leadership role in the really global uh, rest of the world technological you know, innovation. What I've seen over the past year, over the past two years since I've joined is the entrepreneurs that came in during the, uh, during the pandemic were ones that weren't sure what was happening, but then they've been able to sort of survive through the pandemic and now they're at poise to great scale. Being able to give back, being able to have impact beyond my company, beyond my immediate ecosystem. I've always been, you know, supportive of, you know, younger entrepreneurs coming behind me. But I think that Endeavor has also enriched that process and, you know, brought, you know, some broader perspectives to it for me. Uh, I believe that um, in order to transform our economies, we need to develop new businesses uh, focusing on the latest technology um, and, you know, newest business models. And that's what Endeavor uh, tries to promote by finding and assisting, uh, you know, high-powered, high-impact entrepreneurs.